What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of TechSpress. In today's tutorial, let's take a look guys into how we can make fulfillment orders using SendDrop. If you don't know what it actually is, SendDrop is an amazing dropshipper supplier that can be helping you to import products into your actual store. I'm gonna head down into my products and as you can see, there's actually one product that has been already been added from SendDrop inside my actual Shopify store. So as you can see how the inventory, here's the status, here's the type, here's the bundle, and the name of the product. So it's actually looking really, really great. So uh, if you don't know how to do this, how to import stuff from Sandrop, it's actually really, really simple. The very first thing you want to do, really, really easy, is to go into the, down here it says applications, focused here into, let's go for recommended apps. I'm gonna scroll all my way down and look out for Shopify App Store. Here, what you want to do, if you don't want to use Android, you can use another dropshipping supplier if you want to. Just type the product review, the, uh, the actual search bar, the keyword that says drop shipping. So I'm gonna click this option. So I'm gonna click this option. As you can see, we have this pocket, Jesus, Trenty, Spocket, uh, Carro. We have the Auto DS. We have really, really a lot of elements that we can choose. But in our case, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Sandrop. If you don't see Sandrop, you can just type the actual name here into your uh, keyword element and here should be appearing your actual center up as you can see here it is so just make sure that you have the free plan available and this one has a really great rating so once that you are here inside a center up what you want to do is just to sign in and your store should be already been cited in automatically so as you can see here here i have in the upper side my store of shopify so i don't have to do like absolutely anything about the actual importing of the store from Sandrop. Now, let's see how to fulfill an order here into your actual store. So, the very first thing you want to do before we can make an order is to actually import products here into Sandrop, right? From Sandrop into your Shopify store. So, let's focus here into find products into the left pod. And here, as you can see, we have a lot of trending products with Sandrop Plus. We have the new arrivals here, we have the cleaning blush. So if you like a product that you wanted to import into your store, just click in it. Let's say for example that I wanted to import this one, hit into add to the import list and go back here into the import list. Here into the import list, what I want to do is to change the product name, you can change the product tax. Uh, here's the description, I can totally suggest you to just leave like that, as well as the variants, and here are the images. Now here, as you can see, we have the sales price the product host and the shipping. So what I wanted to do is to change the price of this product. Let's say for example, that I changed this for $80. So at the end of the day, with each sale, I'm gonna be earning $8 and $16 for each of these sales. So if you're okay with that, just hit into import to the store and automatically this uh, stuff should be imported into your actual store. So we have now done the next step. The other next step to to get started here into the order fulfillment is just to go back into your store and you want to make sure that your product that you have just imported is now actually available and active into your store. So go back into your Shopify, go back into products, here I have the gaming uh, microphone kit. I click into this eye, it says preview on my online store. And this one should be sending me into the live version of my website where I have my actual products. So as you can see, it says gaming microphone kit, the color, the quantity, the description. Uh, here are the images and the reviews. So uh, we have yet now done like almost everything. Now let's go back here into my Shopify. Now, when somebody makes an order it's here into Shopify, the order should be appearing here into the upper side into the pot. It says orders. Here should be appearing the actual your orders will be shown here. So to get orders and accept payments from customers, you need to select a plan. You will be charged for your plan after your free trial ends. If you have a trial version, you need to change your trial version for an accept plan. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to receive money or to make order payments here into your actual store. So go back into settings, go into plan. And here you wanted to change from a trial version into somebody else. So which is here, it says choose plan. You can change that. In my case, I'm just using a trial version so I can show you how to make the actual actual order fulfillment. So when somebody makes an order here, it should be appearing in here and automatically it's gonna be sent directly into Sandrop. So what I want to do here inside Sandrop is to cut down into orders. And here into orders, I should be seeing here that it's gonna be appearing to my actual orders. What I wanted to do is to enable the option that says auto fulfillment. This auto fulfillment is gonna make the actual fulfillment automatically, but this is an actual plan that needs to be upgraded or even you can have seven day free trial if you cannot 
do the actual automatic auto fulfillment, I'm going to just do this manually. And by doing this manually, what you want to do is just to click into the element that you have just received, the order you have just received from Shopify. And then what I wanted to do is to go and look out for linking the product, exactly the same product that you have just imported. In my case, it's here to import product. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go here into my product. I wanted to make sure that this product is linked from my actual store inside the actual element of the send drop. So uh, I'm going to click here just so that you guys see how it's going to be looking here. I'm going to screw a little bit down. Check it out the shipping cost. So uh, it's really important, guys, that you have an actual credit card in order for making this element paid. So uh, this guy is going to be taking you money from your actual Shopify store. So this guy, uh, let's say that Shopify paid you, but automatically the send drop took the money from your uh, drop shipping supplier. So at the end of the day, you're going to be like doing nothing, which in my case is actually really, really easy. So now I'm going to hit down into send drop Academy just in case I have any questions about the order fulfillment. So you can scroll a little bit down. We have the Malware Capital, we have the Facebook Ads Workshop, we have the Monster Class, we have the Ads Master, we have the TikTok Drop Shippers, and much more. And as you can see, this one is actually like totally free, so you don't have to do like a lot of stuff here. And lastly, guys, if I go into my dashboard, here's to be appearing the fulfill orders. Fulfill is like how many orders you have now uh, done and ready to be sent that into the people who are like making the order into your actual store. So I'm going to head down into orders to fulfill and here should be appearing the orders that we need to fulfill manually because we don't have an actual auto plan and upgraded plan to do the fulfillment automatically. So go into the orders to fulfill and this one should be taking you now into this order so we can start to make the order fulfillment. The process is actually once again really really simple. What we just need to do is just to make sure that my product this product is linked it from an actual product from Sendrop. So when somebody makes an order, I'm going to be really sure that this product comes and was made directly from the dropshipper supplier. So this guy can get started with the actual uh, order shipment and all that. So I don't have to do like anything. Just make sure that this order should be done automatically. Now, in just in case that somebody wants to make a refund, somebody doesn't want the product anymore, once again, Sendrop is going to be taking care of everything. We don't have to do absolutely anything. Just make sure that here is going to be appearing to the linking product and the issues should be solved right away. So uh, this is how, guys, we can get started here into the over fulfillment. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video very useful. So thank you guys once again for watching this video. Hopefully this was very useful for you guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on this next video.